Hey there, Virgo. I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. Um, I want to go ahead and get into your reading for the last portion of August 2020. My apologies for things being a little bit late. I've, um, I've been having some snafus with my phone and carrier service and a bunch of other stuff that goes along with technology. I'm not so techno savvy. And um, yeah, it's been kind of chaotic on my end right now. So Luckily, things are like working 50-50, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let me get into your reading. Show me energies present for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last portion of 2020. Or August 2020. Oh, my God. August 2020. Doesn't it feel like the world is ending, Virgo? <laughs> Show me the energy for Virgo, last portion of August 2020. And if you see this reading after August and it resonates for you, don't worry about it. It's likely the message for you. You know, readings can be timeless if they need to be. So, the Knight of Pentacles, the um, Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords in reverse here, Virgo. Your energy is slapping all over the place here right now, and I love it. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles underneath everybody. So with this energy, you're getting out of your head in regard to a new direction or giving your, of yourself to a situation. There's been a lot of consideration in regard to what you've already contributed to, or <clears throat> this could also be um, situations that you may have been entangled with for years, um, and they may have kept you kind of stuck or backpedaling in a way. It feels like those things are freeing up, so you have the opportunity to move forward towards something here. I'm going to go ahead and pull some more cards. Show me more for Virgo, please. So you have the Empress upright and you have the Page of Wands in reverse. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Moon in reverse. So with the Moon in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse, we have a freeing of the mind, a freeing of emotions, mental and emotional constraints that may have been causing blockages within us over a period of time. These things may have been contributed, us, contributed to us or ingrained within us from childhood, things that are long-standing situations that may have caused us some sort of confusion about ourselves or in our lives <clears throat> moving towards the empress is about self-care it's about really acknowledging the things that make you you um, and working towards implementing the best in your life that you can possibly attain okay with the page of wands in reverse it's kind of an interesting card just because that can really talk about somebody who maybe is confused in the direction that they want to go in or they're dealing with somebody who's confused in that regard. Um, also, that can be a very quick acting energy, but it's generally somebody that is a bit more self-serving. Um, it can be also like a sexual interaction or maybe something that isn't really welcome, you know, like a sexual um, advance that isn't welcome. That type of energy your energy is here or i'm sorry that's taurus energy um you know but that is also coming through here but again like if you're truly standing in your energy like i wouldn't really worry too much about somebody coming at you with like advances like that's you know that's what is that water off duck's back that kind of thing um yeah <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and clarify these. You're getting out of your head about some emotional stuff, but I like that the Empress is here just because it tells me that you're more so interested in engaging within behavior that is going to lead you to um, bettering yourself. It's all about self-care, self-awareness, being conscious of the things that you allow in your life and put in your body and your mind, you know. Um, the Empress is about feeling good, feeling tip-top, eating the right foods, getting the right sleep, good meditation, good energy, um, pretty much all around you. How do you keep that? How do you um, build upon that? Okay. <clears throat> so with the um, Knight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Wands coming out in reverse with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So full steam ahead here, we have a direction that we want to go towards. It leads you to what you want in the end. It doesn't mean it doesn't it, it, it doesn't mean that it's not going to make you work for it. There's a lot of work to be done here, but that leads you to a very, very stable place in your future. 
very curious about this though. Is this a child that some of you may be dealing with? You know, that might cause issues as far as like pregnancy. There might be an issue with pregnancy, but it seems like it gets resolved <clears throat> if that is the case. I'm very curious to pick up on that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, moving forward, moving towards something that feels best for you. It's like your own path, but better, you know, making sure that you do the footwork to make it happen. Okay, Virgo. All right, show me the page of pentacles. So you have the knight of wands, you've got justice, and you have the sun coming out here with the hermit, your energy, Virgo. Um, so deep consideration in regard to new direction. Some of you, if you're needing to move for a job, this will likely lead you to a better situation in the future, but it may require you to actually physically move. Um, and that may be difficult for some of you at this time, but I think that that also may be some of the confusion that could be going around here for, for some of you. Um, with justice though, in the sun, it's almost as if like your clarity is at a, a as a, um, it's heightened. Um, you know, in regard to the situation, especially with the moon in reverse and the hermit, it's like you've done the thinking about, you know, the logistics of a matter, but you've also incorporated the um, internal aspects, how it affects you on an internal level here, Virgo, which I think is uh, really positive just because you have a better um, chance at going towards what makes best sense for you. <clears throat> and highly illuminated, highly wonderful energy with that um, sun card coming out here, you know, moving towards situations that are positive for you, that bring you fairness and equality within situations, things that you can build upon, Virgo, things that you can create and have success in. Let's figure out what up, what up with this nine, this uh, eight of swords in reverse. What up, eight of swords? Show me the eight of swords in reverse. So you have the hermit popping out here. Okay. So um, again, a fair amount of consideration. Also here, page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Now, um, this is new path, new direction, new territory, but also to get to this point, to be able to release some of these mental constraints, we may have to address some of the things that may have been taught to us from a very early age, some of the fears, some of the things that have been instilled, instilled with us um, that cause us um, to not really step within our power. You know, um, some of you may be some of you may be needing to incorporate more creativity into your life. That can look like art therapy, and you can take off the word therapy if that doesn't resonate for you. Just art, you know, expressing yourself in an artistic way, making things happen in that regard. Um, it's about changing things, allowing things to move forward. You know, for some of you in relationship situations, it's offering to a situation with another earth sign potentially, or Pisces as well. It's your opposite sign. Um, you know, but it's, it's getting out of your head when it comes to whatever restraint has been here or um, restriction, it feels like you know, offering an olive branch, extending yourself or somebody doing that with you. Here we have two energies giving to the Empress. You know, that energy could be coming towards you or it could be you giving to another earth sign. And it doesn't even have to be an earth sign. It could just be somebody that is very um, settled in their life and very stable, comfortable, warm, loving, nurturing, beautiful energy, you know, very attractive, very attractive. That can be an apology as well, you know. Show me the Empress here for Virgo. So you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune is an energy that is, um, it's kismet type energy. It's that very connected, oh my God, I've seen this person in my dreams. I feel their energy. I know who they are without even seeing them. I've been with them before I feel such a deep attraction or connection or I'm compelled to be with this person like it's that kind of we've been here before energy you know it's the deja vu of the soul type situation with somebody um and you know I think that that's great um but it's also it can be karmic well they're all karmic you know they're all karmic energies um we all incur and experience karma with each other you know, we are our best teachers, you know, why not experience it with somebody um, that you can love? At least that will be a better 
placement or um, <laughs> experience within how you go about clearing that energy up. You know, if you're in love with somebody or if you have a strong connection versus a tumultuous situation where the growth and learning is all pain and sorrow and anger and I hate you and I hate myself for loving you. Come back. It's, it's that kind of thing, you know. I would rather be in a situation where I'm with somebody who I care about and growth is happening and it's happy, even if it is conflictual. Um, the Nine of Pentacles indicates an energy of um, self-sufficient um, energy about you or a person. Um, this could also be, you know, weighing a situation out to see if it's truly something that you want to enter into, you know. What's underneath this Nine of... So Ten of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles six of swords so moving towards something that has potential a lot of potential a lot of a lot of potential i like that and wheel of fortune is a very positive energy but it really again does communicate where we are dealing with um cycles within our lives you know what do we need to clear up to allow better things into our experience show me the page of wands in reverse what is this energy with the page of wands in reverse the Emperor in reverse. What a poo-poo head. All right. With judgment at the bottom of the deck. So if this is somebody that you would rather not be with, I could understand. You know, it could also be connecting with somebody just to experience that and let it go. Or maybe somebody wanting to share some sort of apology or maybe dealing with their behavior. For some of you, this person likely hasn't changed you know, for some of you, this is a situation that you need to address for things to move forward. So I want to pull some separate cards here. Okay, show me the page of wands in reverse. Unconscious beliefs, be aware of what you are telling yourself. It goes for limitations, doubting your own abilities not trusting your own vision or direction, desires, passions. Show me the emperor in reverse here, okay? So impatience, restlessness, leading to frustration, eagerness, engagement. Someone is ready to take things to the next level. So I feel like somebody's definitely ready to take things to the next level. I just don't know if you are or if this is you coming towards somebody who isn't sure about that. It's kind of a dual-edged sword here with judgment at the bottom of the deck and the moon. We at least have this release of mental frustration, or at least we can kind of see things a bit clearly now. Um, same here with the eight of swords in reverse. But judgment, again, is asking us to make a decision, make a big one. Is this something that you reconcile with and resurrect, or is this something that you allow to release, you know? And how are you wounded by that? Are, are you... Do you come out unscathed? Are you okay with that? How does that go? Give me a connection between the Page of Wands in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Okay. So we have these Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Let's see how I see you guys. That's what I'm talking about. You have the Emperor coming out. You have the Five of Swords. You have the Four of Swords. And you have the Two of Cups. So this is a situation that can be fixed. It can be healed. But it's also a situation that's going to deal with somebody's impatience and stubbornness. You know, the Emperor isn't the worst in the world. You know, sometimes he's a complete asshole. But overall, Virgo, like, if it's somebody's impatience or impetuous energy that needs to be looked at and taken into consideration, um, you know, Clarity needs to be brought out. What is this underneath here? So six of wands and so moving forward towards the possibility of positive energy taking shape, you know, a success story here. Kind of difficult to get into it as far as like wanting to go part of in towards it. But somebody I feel you have the potential to have something here with somebody in a positive way. It is, though, about very much addressing somebody's behavior and their impatience and the way that they are self-involved, okay? And if that is something that you cannot release or let go of or find peace with or find a resolve to, then this might not be the best way to do it, you know? And leaving it could end up stabilizing your life where you find somebody that is for you. 
And that, I will say, is the duality within this reading, Virgo. Your opposite sign is Pisces. They are the fish. They are duality. This is duality with an emotion here, but also funneled through the practicality of what makes best sense for your experience. Okay? Draw upon the Piscean energy that you experience as well. They are your opposite sign when dealing with your emotions and facing them. You know, Pisces also is very good at running away from the things that they fear. They're escapists. <laughs> So try not to be an escapist, you know, allow yourself to look at somebody's behavior for what it is, or if this is your behavior, it may be time to fix it. Um, but that's what I have. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> get a little romance angel out here. Show me for Virgo. Retreat, past life relationship, heart to heart conversations, express your love attraction at the bottom of the deck a lot really wanted to come out there maybe i shouldn't make fun of these romance angels um yeah retreat connection to somebody past life energy heart to heart conversations express your love somebody here is wanting to either fix something or address something in a way i feel like it needs to be addressed some people may not want to address that and that's a huge factor that's weighing in on the situation virgo so if somebody is oblivious to it or playing dumb, then that's a no-go. If somebody's willing to do the work and willing to take accountability and address something here, then you have the potential, okay? Either way, you have potential um, and attraction at the bottom of the deck. Is there any more, <clears throat> is there any more advice for Virgo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Is there any more advice for Virgo? Okay. So you have the Nine of Pentacles here. The Nine of Pentacles, I believe, was at the beginning of this reading. You have the Page of Cups coming out in reverse. And you have the King of Wands in reverse. So again, that really heavy, egoic Virgo energy and the stars at the bottom of the deck. So somebody being very drawn to a situation. You know, sometimes we have to duke out karma with people it doesn't mean that it's going to be the worst or the best but it is what it is if there's a true bond of love and being able to not look past something we're not looking past somebody's issues we're not giving them a go card because they're a dick and we'd rather not worry about it we're evaluating a situation and helping somebody through it if they choose to be accountable for it and if they do not then they don't resonate you know they don't they don't you know you don't compromise yourself for the potential of somebody else, especially when they are struggling and do not know themselves or don't know how to rid them of that type of energy. With the Page of Cups in reverse, um, this can also talk about somebody who has had a significant amount of emotional wounding from a very early age that may have kept them feeling isolated in a lot of ways. So sometimes when that happens, I know that happened to me in my life. Um, and, you know, I also didn't grow up with a lot of rules or much, you know, security or, you know, ground rules or anything. I was, I was out on Venice Beach when I was seven, smoking cigarettes, getting my ear pierced, hanging out with the Hare Krishnas, you know, like that's my childhood, you know, in Venice Beach. Like, <clears throat> but what it did to me was it caused me to turn inward towards myself and have to rely on myself, which made me an independent person, but it also made me think that I was right all the time. So <clears throat> for me to recognize now when I'm not right, or for me to hold myself back when I want to blurt out and spit out what I believe is right, I have to hold that within and actually watch a situation and allow it to pass and like see if what I'm actually trying to force and contribute is even applicable to the situation. You know, that may be have to that may be kind of something that's happening here. And I give my own life experience because I don't know how to express or equate that any better. So I hope that this reading is helpful. I hope it wasn't super duper confusing to you. Um, yeah. It's here for you if you need it. And if it wasn't resonant, then, you know, there are other readers on YouTube and they're very good. And um, I like them. So anyways, um, feel free to like, share and subscribe if you choose to. 
and if you want to leave a donation for me there's a link in the description box below um, to my PayPal account and for those of you who, <clears throat> for those of you who have emailed me um, regarding personal readings I'm very sorry for the delay in responding to you I haven't been able to do that just because my internet has been up and down and back and forth and I have not been receiving things and then like I'll get mass emails I don't know why it's acting up 50 50 I've got two phones now and like one of them is how do you say like <clears throat> they cut the service to my old one the network service to my old one to patch it over to the new phone but then that didn't go through and so my old phone didn't have network service nor did my new phone and then my internet here at the home on my desktop and everything like fritzed out i don't know what happened i don't know if we're in a retrograde but whatever it is dude oh my god it's been insane so i've been missing messages like crazy have been able to look on things haven't been able to do much so anyways i'm gonna shut up here if you need to get in touch with me <laughs> long story longer um feel free to email me at the uh, altruistic mystic at gmail.com and i will talk to you guys later goodbye virgo take care